everyone welcome to amar jyoti's crochet world today i am going to make a very quick and very interesting project a uh, rosary i am making it in a bracelet form you can make it in a, a necklace or a form also you can make this a longer one i have i have made it in a, this uh, bracelet uh, uh, size so this cross and this rosary this rosary has been made with acrylic yarn four ply acrylic yarn i have i am using thin acrylic yarn for this you can use any kind of yarn or thread and the um, relative uh, crochet hook size okay the yarn i am using is four ply acrylic yarn and the crochet hook that i am going to use is 2.5 mm crochet hook a pair of scissors to cut the end i am going to make it in a bracelet size once again you can make it a longer one i'll show you the technique how to make it it's very quick and very easy uh, project we are going to start with the cross and then go with the this uh, this portion beaded portion okay so first of all we have to make a slip knot chain 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 this portion we have made for this now we are going to make this portion of cross now make chain 4 1 2 3 and 4 okay eight chains and four chains that is in total these are uh, 12 but i am making it in parts to show you eight for this portion four for this portion okay skip the first stitch from the hook in the second stitch make a slip stitch insert the hook in the second stitch second chain stitch yarn over and pull the yarn and pull the yarn through the working loop so this is your slip stitch so one time slip stitch second time slip stitch in the next stitch in the third stitch again make a slip stitch so in the three stitches we have made a slip stitch and this has made a corner and uh, this this side of your cross okay now again make chain 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 okay after making chain 8 chain 1 just one two make it a height or turning chain so leave this ninth chain and in the the second chain from the hook again start making slip stitches one slip stitch in the next second stitch make a slip stitch in the third stitch make a slip stitch in the fourth slip stitch fifth slip stitch sixth slip stitch seventh slip stitch eighth slip stitch so in total we have made eight slip stitches now you have reached this portion where you have made this uh, slip stitch in the of this side so slip stitch in this portion as well so in total we have made nine slip stitches okay now make chain 4 1 2 3 4 skip the first stitch in the second stitch start making slip stitch 1 in the second stitch slip stitch in the third a slip stitch and again in the center make a slip stitch okay now the two sides of your cross are done fine now this side now here i am going to make six slip, slip stitches 1 two, 3 4 5 6 okay six slip stitches your cross is ready after making the cross this chain 2 leave it because these we will connect with the beads so now i am going to make the this 
garland portion or the necklace portion or the bracelet you are making so make chain 2 to give the height chain 1 so how to make the bead chain 1 and pull the loop pull this loop almost this height of a double crochet so yarn over and insert the hook in the base stitch of this where you have pulled the yarn yarn over and pull the loop again yarn over insert the hook in the same stitch yarn over and pull the loop two times you have yarn over and pull the loop and one time you just pull the loop so this is your this will be your bead yarn over and pull through all the loops chain one so this is made your one bead okay chain two to give the height after making two chains chain one and pull the loop of working loop one loop in the hook yarn over and insert the hook in the stitch below yarn over and pull the loop three loops in the hook yarn over insert the hook in the same stitch and pull the loop now you have five loops in the hook yarn over and pull through all the five loops chain one so this is the closing of the beads so chain two to give the height again chain one and pull the loop so in this way you are going to make your necklace or the bracelet so in the base of this stitch yarn over and pull the loop two times and this yarn over and chain one beat two chains in the third chain we are going to make the bead two times by pulling the loop chain one one time two time see if you want to make the necklace you can make the longer one but again as i told you i'll be making the bracelet so in this i had made 10 beads here i have made one two three four and five and sixth it's very easy very beautiful project sixth one chain two and chain third chain make a bead one two chain two third loop in the third making the bead Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more. One more. Chain one. Now I think 10 have been done. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 beads have been done. Now what I am going to do is in this after making the chain 1 to uh, close the bead slip stitch in this first chain over the cross the starting one. Make a slip stitch chain one and cut the yarn finish it off you have two ends just tie a knot to secure both the ends and then hide both the ends in the bead and that's it your bead will be Let me hide it one more time.
okay and cut the extra yarn and that's it your beautiful rosary bracelet or the necklace of your choice if you want to make this is ready it's very quick very easy and very beautiful project hope you like my video on making this beautiful bracelet of a rosary uh, please give it a thumbs up please like share and subscribe my channel and write in the comment section how you like my videos and uh, press the bell icon so that you will get the notification for each and every time i'll upload anything new and thank you for watching my video thank you once again